looking for super cheap, fast, and reliable Madden 21 coins, look no further than my sponsor, MuttReserve.com. They're super awesome to work with, and their coins are currently discounted a ton. Make sure to take advantage and use code Poodle at checkout for an additional 15% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, we have a pretty good day of content. We got some free stuff. We got some new stuff, we got some solos in game, and we even have a precursor or like a foreshadowing of a future promo, which I will go through in just a second, guys. Really excited for today's stuff. Um, of course, we had two of the week yesterday. That was, of course, super exciting. Hopefully, you guys went through, picked up your clay pool, picked up some of your stuff. We did hit on some predictions yesterday, which is always awesome to see, considering how tough it is this year to predict team of the week, but also way more fun because it is so tough. Now, for today's Poodle Squad shout out, we got Hurlbert. Shout out to you, man, for being part of the Poodle Squad. Thank you so much for showing support and commenting each and every video. Appreciate that. Now, if you guys want your own chance to be shouted out in the Poodle Squad, all you gotta do, like the video, comment down below Poodle Squad, and of course, turn on that noti bell. Once you do those things, you are entered for a chance to be shouted out, and you're gonna be shouted out. Trust me. Not 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 enough comments for me to start miss for me to miss people. It's actually gonna start repeating pretty soon. But moving on from that. If you guys need coins to pick up any of this new stuff I'm going to show you guys today, or you want to go pick up those Team of the Week yesterday or prepare for the most feared, go over to Mutt Reserve down below in the description. Use code POODLE for 15% off. They got coins, training, power-ups, everything on there you could want is going to be on there. Make sure to take advantage. But moving on from that, guys, about it for that, let's go over to the brand new solos for the day, which is going to be in here, all the way up here, and let's go check them out. Power-up solos. Play these limited-time challenges to earn power-up players. These challenges expire at 10 a.m. Eastern Time on October 21st. Now, the thing with this, guys, is that it is limited. So remember, you do have about, you have approximately one week to play them. Now, if you play them, you get a few things here. So first, you're going ahead and getting the 50 power fantasy pack, as well as if you play through these, you eventually get some more stars and coins out of this too. So you do get a few things here. So you get the 50 power player, uh, 50 power fantasy pack, as well as a random power, which I'm not seeing in the rewards here. You get a random power up as well from the 10 that we got today. So we got 10 new power ups today. We'll show you that in just a second in the screenshots. But most of the things going to be that 50 power uh, power fantasy pack, which I'm just talking about now before I go into the players. So the 50 power fantasy pack is going to be how you get the free 50 player uh, free 50 player power up. Now this is super important because if you guys didn't already know, the 50 power ups are super super expensive. They're super overpriced. So like the issue with uh, the 50 players has been that some of them weren't worth buying because you need to power them up and you just can't power them up. Now I do suspect that this will increase the value of some of the 50 cards because of course they do get if their power ups really cheap now their card can go up a little bit more so let's go to the 50 and let's go to power to give you guys an example reggie bush is 250k so if you guys have any of these power ups like if you have any i recommend you sell them right away because if you do not sell them now you're going to be pretty screwed because they're going to drop down in value a ton pretty soon now i do think that the 50 players like i said will go up in value um a little bit in corresponding because again like the reason they're 400k is because maybe they can't get the next thing get the next chem or the next uh or the next threshold and they need these cards but now that they're going to be cheap and free the other cards are going to be bought out more because you're going to want them more as well as the fact that they were being held down in value because of that so i do predict that some of these will probably come up i don't see a way in which they go down in value i think they'll be and people are going to just want more in general because now that they get a free power up they want to then go power it up as you guys can see here if you do look at this it appears like some have actually already went up i'm not i'm starting by overall okay hold up let's, let's check this out Okay, so no, yeah, I don't think the bad ones will go down, but like Jimmy Graham's already above 300k. Anyone that needed thresholds or were really close was going to be tight in price because again, if they were close, they're gonna go up in price. But that's about it for that. I do want to show you guys the other power ups, and that fantasy pack does contain it's fantasy pack. So you get to pick. It's not random to clarify that. So remember, whatever one you want, you're gonna be able to pick it, which is cool because I don't like if they give you a random one, like they give me um brett Favre, and i don't want brett Favre. where they gave me vincent jackson oh that sucks i mean you could sell it but i don't think it's gonna go for much value to begin with whether or not it was before but moving on from that guys with the fantasy pack go play the solos it shouldn't take you more than i'd imagine an hour that stuff usually goes typically pretty quick but about that with the fantasy pack i think this is one of the better free packs we're getting this year because like i said you're getting te technically like a 200k plus value despite it being a power up yes they're gonna go down in value anyways but it's the thought that counts because you couldn't get them before anyways and then of course there's the other random power up now these other powers i don't think will be nearly as valuable as you're going to get from these although the other ones are still new so they may retain some value in the market for the time being let's go check out the new power ups and show you guys that the new power ups today we got adrian peterson 68 overall jonathan allen larry fitzgerald Corey littleton ryan Tannehill, robbie anderson mark andrews xavier rhodes Landon collins and devon Kennard. now here's the thing we got 10 new power ups now i'm gonna go over what i see here so who who's valuable here adrian peterson possibly not yet jonathan allen i don't think he's gonna be that valuable larry fitzgerald no Corey littleton no ron tannell could be robbie anderson yes mark andrews yes 
Xavier Rhodes, no. Lennon Collins, possibly. And Devon Connard, no. Now, here's why I think some of those might be valuable. I do believe that this could be a foreshadow for most feared. Like, why would they give us these powers randomly? For what reason, right? Maybe they're hinting at the fact that some of... Like, remember last year, they would drop a promo. The cards wouldn't have power-ups. We'd be pissed. They would drop a power-up in the next series update. But then at that point, the card was overshadowed. For instance, Ron Tannehill MVP card last year, 97. Would have been one of the best quarterbacks in the game. But they didn't drop his power up to like a, a few weeks or a month after and no one cared for him anymore so maybe this year they're gonna start dropping power ups beforehand so maybe they give us adrian peterson now and then adrian peterson gets a most feared card because of course adrian peterson's most feared and larry fitzgerald gets a most feared card so maybe they're doing it that way robbie anderson scary fast maybe he's getting a card as well which would be super awesome so in that case if this is a foreshadowing this is cool you know because then we'll have power ups ready because i didn't yeah i didn't like that last year that really sucked when they give us like a master with no power up. we're not well, this should they give masters with power ups regardless, which is a big thing too. But I hate it when they give us like a set piece or anything and there'd be no power up. I'm like, well, there's not there's not much value in that anymore. So I would I would love out of all these who I would like to see a most fear card, Mark Andrews, of course, Robbie Anderson, Adrian Peterson, and Lenny Collins and Ron Tannehill. Now Lenny Collins would be a really good most fear card because he'd have hit power, speed, and height. He'd be a great uh, box line linebacker or box safety. Everything that could be interesting. So Again, these are the templates today. If you do want to get them and you didn't get them out of the pack or anything, you can go ahead and do like exchange sets for, uh, you know, 65, 70 overall players and just go ahead and reroll those until you get them. They'll have some decent value. Again, if you do get them and they don't, and if they don't go for more than like 10K off the rip, hold them. That's my personal opinion. If they don't go for at least 10K plus, hold them. Because like, yes, if there's not a most fear card, they're going to be 10K probably. But if there is one, like if we get, if we get a most fear Robbie Anderson, like scary fast, fast guy in the game. He could, his power card could be like 100k, especially if we get like a house rules that give us one for free. I'm telling you, if they don't go for more than 10k, you're not making a decent buck back. Do not waste your time and sell them. Just hold on to them. Worst case scenario, you sell them and you lose like 7k versus making 100k or 40k or 20k, you know. I would just recommend waiting on that on that front. But those are the 10 power-ups for today. Again, not exciting in the short term. It makes you wonder, right? Why would they give us those now? And again, that, that makes more sense to lean towards my theory of it's a most fear type little thing. So that pretty much wraps up today's video, guys. Go get your fantasy pack done now. Who's the best one to take? Uh, let me take you guys over to that screen real quick. Who's to take really comes down to what you want, personally. I'd probably stick to some of the newer 50 players just because those are the higher overalls. Um, DRC. DRC is probably one of the top ones. Top ones to take, in my personal opinion. I would go with DRC for the most part. Now, again, you could go like a Reggie Bush or something, but DRC is definitely up there. Uh, Brett Favre, if you want some, if you want some thresholds. But again, it's all, it's all preference based. But guys, that's pretty much it for the video. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you are new to the channel, make sure down below. Hit that subscribe button. Turn that on bell, boys, for join the family. Make sure to do a big thumbs up as always. And for today's Poodle Squad shout out, if you want a chance to be shout out in today's later video, make sure to like the video, turn the notification bell, and of course, subscribe to the channel. Once you do those things, you're entered to be shouted out. If you guys need coins, head over to Mutt Reserve down below. Use code Poodle 15% off. And that's about it, guys. Comment down below any other videos you want to see for today. I have nothing else planned, so let me know if you have anything specifically you want to see. And yeah, go get your solos grinding. Enjoy the power ups, and hopefully, we can see most of you soon. I'm out. See you guys later. Peace.